Hey there, so this is the 16 by 32 version of Pixel Guts. Um, when I say 16 by 32, it just means that the LED matrix, instead of the full 32 by 32, is half the size, 16 by 32. So it's a little bit more affordable uh, version of the, pro of the project. So let's just go through how to wire everything up. It's, it's pretty easy. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is start with the Yo-Yo Mint board. So this is the main microcontroller that drives the project. And it's, it's a variant of the open source Yo-Yo board, which is a really good board for doing Android development. That's why we picked it for this project. And so we developed the shield for this project as well that just makes it really easy to wire, and I'll show this in a second, how to wire up the LED matrix without any soldering. So first thing you want to do is just pop the shield on top of the board. It only goes in one way, so don't worry, you can't um, screw up. Just align the pins and snap it in like so. Then just pop in the Bluetooth dongle. This is how we're going to talk to the Android device over Bluetooth. So now let's connect the back of the LED matrix to the board. And for that, let's turn this guy over. And if we look at the bottom, we're going to want to wire up the left side, not the right side. So just remember that when you have it facing this way, you're going to see two connectors, one here and one here. We want the one on the left. Um, these, these boards are designed to be cascaded. So the software doesn't support that right now, but if you wanted to cascade these and have a whole bunch of these boards together, that's where this connection would come into play. But we're not using that right now. So we're gonna use this one. So let's put that back there and let's take our cable. And we made this such that the cable will only go in one way. So if you try to put it in the wrong way, it's not gonna fit, there's a notch. So plug it in on that side. And then same thing on our board over here. Let's plug it in as well. Again, there's a notch, so it only goes in one way. And then next, let's hook up our power. Now this part, you do need to be a little careful. Um, you've got two wires, one red, one black. And the one that is red is what we call VCC, or in our case, five volts. Um, so this part is very important. And you want to make sure that you are connecting the red wire to the 5 volts. Um, very important, otherwise you could potentially damage the board. And then the black wire goes to ground. Okay, so those are that's two power connections. And then on the other end, you'll see the power coming into the board and, and the RGB shield. On the right side, there's actually a label that says 5 volts. So that's how you know five volts on the right side, ground on the left side. And uh, let's just undo the screw terminal a little bit there on both sides. Pop this in. So the red wire is the five volts. And the black wire is the ground on the left side. All right, so now we've got our matrix wired up to the board. So now let's take our power supply and plug that in. And then the other end goes on top to this barrel connector right here. So just plug the power in. And then you can see the red LED goes on so we know we got power. And there's another red LED on the bottom. And you can just, there's a switch right here. So you can turn the board on and off from this little toggle switch at the top. Okay, so now we got power. So now let's flip this guy over. And let's bring in our Android device and get these guys talking. So from your device, tap settings, go to Bluetooth, and it is going to show up as IO IO. Let's go ahead and tap that, and then we'll just Bluetooth pair. When you pair, the code you want to enter is 4545. So again, 4545, hit OK. And now you can see we're paired, so let's put this to the side. And let's bring back our matrix. Okay. And what we want to do is launch one of the apps. We'll launch one called Pixel Art. And let's see if we can get some pictures on here. Now, the, the apps are set for the larger LED matrix by default. So the apps are expecting to see this guy, but we're really only seeing, in this case, the smaller version. 
So no worries, what you need to do for the first time as a, as a one-time thing is just go to settings from the app, go to settings here, LED matrix selection, and then you can see we're defaulted to seed 32 by 32. We want to click seed 16 by 32 to tell it to use the 16 by 32 matrix. And again, that'll save it. So you, you just need to do that one time, get out of it. And now let's go back to our matrix. So now it's going to scale everything to our 16 by 32 matrix. And the only thing I'll say is a lot of the images, at least these preloaded ones, were really meant for 32 by 32. So they're going to look a little stretched. So if you do use the 16 by 32, probably want to look around and get some images optimized for um, 16 by 32. But it doesn't look too bad. Now this doesn't look that great, for example. You can see the LED matrix and it's not that, it's kind of hard to make out. So what most people do with these projects is find a way to diffuse the LEDs. And so here I've just got some, this is parchment paper, um, same stuff you cook in, the, in, in your baking oven. I'm just gonna put that on top of that. And then maybe also I can take, uh, this is a piece of black acrylic, opaque black acrylic, one eighth inch thick. You can experiment with different thicknesses and just put that over the top. And so now you can see it looks a lot better. And so again, you can feel free to experiment. You can put a little gap in between the LED matrix and uh, the material if you want a little blurry. That's all up to you um, to do as you wish. So you can see some of the apps here now. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So um, that is the project. And then the only other thing I'll say is that this is written in such a way that when I get out of the app, or even turn off my device, I'll just do it right now, the last image is always going to remain on pixel, irrespective if your device is on or off. The last image will always stay here. So you can use this as sort of a remote control, if you will, to set the image on the device. <music>